atmospheric entry. Atmospheric in, entry. The radar will lock on the ground in approximately five seconds from now. Current altitude 8,000 feet, moving at a speed of 173 miles per hour. We are near our terminal velocity. At this point in time, we should be on the ground. Stand by. What do we see? Well, how does it feel? It, <laughs> we're tired. <laughs> you know, I've been doing this uh, nine years and, and nine months longer than I thought we would. But um, it's wonderful, you know. Um, we went into this, honestly, with big ambitions. We went in this to try to transform our understanding of Mars. And that's hard to do in 90 days, but it turns out if you have 10 years, you can come pretty close. <laughs> so I, I feel good. I feel real good about it. My single most memorable moment over the entire MER project from start to today was Sol 12, the 12th Martian day of Spirit's mission. And that was the day that we drove the Spirit rover off of the lander and onto Martian soil. It was like a three meter drive. But it was, to me, the culmination of 16 years of work of trying to get a vehicle that could do science onto the surface of Mars. And after 16 years of trying to do that, my team, all of us together, we had six wheels in the dirt on Mars and we were ready to explore. The 10 years that has taken opportunity to drive across the plains of Meridiani to now Endeavour Crater has allowed us to literally go back in time on Mars. We're now at the oldest periods, the oldest time on the planet for this geology. 
and it, it, it required us to drive, to travel miles and miles and kilometers and kilometers to get there to, to find these old rocks. And that's what you can do with the rover. And we are at a place where we literally have Sol 1 all over again. It's a brand new mission, new things to explore, new science, new geology. Um, and so we continue to think of this mission as if it's a brand new mission with each day. We do work on Mars. I mean, our team goes to work on Mars every single day. When they report to the office, it's doing work on another world. And in that sense, these rovers have made Mars familiar to us. They're our neighborhood. It is where we do things. And so Mars, the planet, is no longer this distant alien world. It's now something familiar to us. It is in battle short is. mode, so it should power through them. Director of Earth Communications at this time. We may have lost it already. Altitude error, 5.9 meters. We found a nice flat place. We're coming in ready for sky cram. Ribmu stable. Of telemetry. Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on Mars. <laughs> 